Giovanna Proença, and today we're going to talk about Problem Set 5, Testing My Twitter of CS50 Introduction to Programming with Python. If you have any question about programming or the career, schedule a free meeting with us, the link's in the description, and we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism, alright? So let's start our code in here. Basically, we're going to test the code from from week two, the problem set two, setting up my Twitter. Uh, we already gave the solution of setting up my Twitter on problem set two, all right? If you want to take a look, check the, the link here in the card, all right? And then we're going to check uh, we're going to check if our function is working fine. At that time, we did the solution, everything in one function only, we didn't split in a main, a shortened function. So this will be our first part. And later on, we're going to test our function shorten with one or more functions that we'll take to check if everything is working fine. Okay, so let's see first how the Twitter.py works, okay? So here I just use the same code but changing some things like adding things on the main and adding things on the shortened function. So let's review this together. Basically here we have one uh, like we had in the previous solution, if you take a look at the video in the, the card. We are asking the user for a message, then we are calling a function called shorten. And the shortened function will return us this message without vowels, all right? And the, then we're gonna print the output and the message without the vowels. Let's see how the shorten function works. Here we are creating a variable, an empty variable, an empty string, and we're gonna loop through every letter in our word that we're receiving in the message. If the letter, it, in lowercase, we're comparing everything in lowercase, so if the letter is A, E, I, O, R, U, we're going to remove uh, we're not going to add this letter in our word but if the letter is not a vowel we're going to add this letter in our word without vowels all right and in the end we're just returning this this new word so let's test here let's see how it's working so if i run here python twitter dot py it's going to ask us for something and if i put here twitter it will return us t w t t r all right if i put here giovanna uh, it will appear my sorry <laughs> i have to run the code if i run the code here and i put giovanna it will appear only g v and n all right so it's working our code we are removing our the vowels now we need to test to check if our shortened function is working or not this is the goal of the lecture this week lecture so before we start let's understand how we can test things in python so uh, during the lecture of CS50 of week 5, we can see that they are always explaining how to test things using this assert keyword, all right? So here, let's understand how this assert keyword works, okay? This is W3Schools, one of the best resources that you can use to check what a keyword, what is a keyword, for example, assert, break, and other words, or how a function work as well, okay? And you have multiple examples. So let's understand in here. The assert keyword is using when debugging code, in our case, when testing a code, all right? The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an assertion error. You can write a message should be written if the code returns false. All right, this part of display a message, we don't need to do, this is optional, okay? But we're gonna use this assert to test if a condition is returning us what we are expecting to return. If this condition is not returning us what we are expecting to return, we're going to, uh, this means that our function isn't working the way it is supposed to be. All right, let's see this example. For example, we have a variable x equals to hello. If we want to check, we do x equals to hello, assert x equals equals goodbye. The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an assert error. In this case, the assert will raise an assert error because hello is not equals to goodbye. Thinking about another example where we want to check if our function is working. Let's suppose we have the file above. Def main, this is our main function and we're printing 
2 square is and we're calling the function square passing the parameter 2. Then we are defining our square function and our parameter is n and we're doing return n times n. If we want to test the square function we can run the test test underscore calculator.py where we do from calculator import square then we define our main function calling the function test square and then we define our test square function doing assert square 2 is equals to 4. In this test, the assert keyword will return true because the square of 2 is 4. This means that our function is working the way that it's supposed to. If we change the function with square by returning only n instead of n times n, once we run the test, the assert keyword will raise an assert error because our function is telling us that square of 2 is true, but it should be 4. This means that there is something wrong with the square function. So now that we understand how can we test things, all right, let's start implementing step by step. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's take a look at what we have in here. We have our main function like we saw in the animation, all right, and we're going to create some auxiliary functions to do this testing, okay? So we're gonna test the letters, upper and lower case, all right, then we're gonna test numbers and test punctuation. So why are we trying, why are we checking the, the letters in lower and upper? 